now discuss about the intermuscular spaces in scapular region scapula here is dorsal surface of the scapula here is a chromium process this is for a quad process and here is head of the humerus this is humerus here is anatomical neck and this is greater tubercle this is greater tubercle here are three impressions this impression is for supraspinatus here supraspinatus muscle is attached here is infraspinatus and here is teres minor here teres minor muscle is attached this is lateral border of the scapula in the lower part of the lateral border of the scapula one muscle takes origin this muscle is is teres major it takes origin from lower part of lower part of lateral border of the scapula and inserted on anterior surface here is medial leap of biceptal groove and the person this is infraglenoid tubercle it takes origin from here this is this muscle is longer than the triceps this muscle is longer than triceps and the muscle this takes origin from upper part of lateral border of scapula this muscle is this this muscle is teres minor so this is teres minor this is teres major and this is long head of triceps brachii triceps brachii so this is long head this is long head of triceps this is teres major and this is teres major here you can see here is a space this space is known as quadrangular space here is space this is upper triangular space this is lower triangular space and boundary you can see here it is laterally bounded by surgical neck of the humerus this is surgical neck surgical neck of humerus This is surgical neck of humerus, which part the lateral boundary of quadrangular space. Superiority is bounded by teres minor in posterior part, and and the structure capsule of the shoulder joint and anteriorly subscapulous muscles. So three structures form the superior boundary, from posterior to anterior side, teres minor, 
capsule of the solar joint and subscapulous muscle. And medial boundary is formed by longata triceps. Inferior boundary is formed by teres major. And content is very important content is circumflex scapular artery and axillary nerve. This is axillary nerve. This is axillary nerve. And here is posterior circumflex humeral artery. This is posterior circumflex humeral artery. So these two, two structures present in this quadrangular space or passes through this quadrangular space. This axillary nerve gives supply to deltoid muscle and teres muscle. It gives supply to here is teres minor muscle. It gives supply to teres minor muscle and deltoid muscle. Here is deltoid muscle. So it gives supply to deltoid muscle and teres minor muscle. Now another space it is upper triangular space. It is superior medial. It is bounded by teres, teres minor. Inferiorly, it is bounded by teres major. And laterally, this is lateral boundary. Laterally, it is bounded by long head of triceps. Important content is circumflex scapular artery. This is circumflex scapular artery. It pierces the muscle, teres minor, and here it anastomos with suprascapular artery. This is circumflex scapular artery. And the space, this is lower triangular space, which is laterally bounded by shaft of the humerus, superiorly by teres major. And medially by long head of the triceps, and its content is this is radial nerve. This is radial nerve around with profunda brachii artery. This is profunda brachii artery. This is profunda. This is profunda brachii artery and radial nerve. So these are the content of the lower triangular space. So this is all about the intermuscular spacing in scapular region.